All right, so we got to Cowboy Town last time. Um, and you know, it's a pretty quaint, quiet little town, but there's some fun stuff to, to do here. I think we can even head over this way. Oh, hello? This person has quite the, quite the secluded house here, huh? Oh, look, hello? Your Pokemon has a docile nature. Do you know that Pokemon's nature determines how it will grow? Wow, you don't say. There's always been lots of Pokemon in this area, even in the olden days. So there are big Pokemon ranches around these parts, okay? Gotta love when they put a house that's like, just nothing there. Um, fun, fun stuff. Can I not, hello? All right, so check this out. I put honey on a tree yesterday. Um, I was gonna check and see if it has Pokemon on it, but so if you hit the plus button on the town map, you can then toggle to this one shows, then I think that means there's honey on it. now. This next slot with the sparkly tree would mean it would show that there's a Pokemon there, which it doesn't. And that means that that tree has literally been like nearly 24 hours without a Pokemon on it, which I don't understand. Um, but I guess I saved myself a trip going all the way over there for that. It was probably just a freaking Wurmple anyway, so <laughs> that's fine. But I guess we're just gonna kind of continue here with Applejack and Special K. Everybody else is just gonna have to suffer the fate of the EXP share. And once they, I guess, get to 30, I'll have to box them because I can't, I, I want to use them for the next gym, obviously. Freaking level caps are boning me here. I also have Booberry, though. Booberry, Special K, and Applejack are going to be the dudes we're going to work on here. Um, so let's continue to the north of this route and get a, see what's going on over here. We did already get our encounter over this way. I do not think I have battled you. I'm right proud of them. Okay. Don't worry, you'll be under leveled by the Elite Four. <laughs> Rancher Marco. Oh, an Apom. Nice, we haven't seen an Apom yet. Love me some Apom. This guy looks like Farmer Hayden. <laughs> just tended my crops. Oops, I accidentally just used faint on this thing. Damn it, Mav, you distracted me. See you later, Boo Berry. Ooh, a Giraffe Rig, too. This guy's got quite the interesting team. I like it. I love me some Giraffe Rig. Um, and it's an interesting type as well. Psychic Normal type is pretty, is actually pretty sick. But Dark type, you know. This is Arch Nemesis. Freaking steps on me and take a bite out of your weird little tail thing, and he dead. I'm um, a Psyduck here with Freaking Cloud Nine. Chicka, thanks for the, the the plug, my dude. Um, let's go to Special K on this thing. Got an Apom during my Nuzlocke. Ampom came in clutch at times, but then died in one of the Galactic Admins, I think. I would like to use an Ambipom. At what point do I get? Where can you encounter Apom? Force palm, that ass. Give you a nice little headache there. Side deck crisis averted. And, um, we're good to continue. Uh, let's, um, let's go to boxes. My team is gonna get over leveled if I leave it how it is because there's a ton of trainers coming up. I feel like, and we have a ways to go to the next gym. So we're gonna move Lucky Charms into here. We're gonna move Pebbles into here. The level 27 asses are too, in, too intense. Um, we'll bring back Raisin Bran. <laughs> and, uh, maybe just G. Uh, Staravia, probably? I think it's level 26. I, I, even Staravia is too high. God damn. Bring back Geodude. Alright, so now the team is not at risk of over leveling past the level cap, but also now we're, like, kind of low for, like, just playing in general. But that's fine. You know, I'm up for the freaking challenge. That should be okay. Cycle up here. Oh, I was on the wrong gear. Oh, God. Yeet. God, it's like so annoying to control this thing. <laughs> what up, Jogger? You don't battle me unless it's like a certain time of day. Huh? What are you doing over here? I'm taking a rest. If I were a bird Pokemon, it would be a roost. You give me roost? Nice. TM51s. I remember the day I learned that you can use a ground move on the same turn that the opponent Pokemon uses roost. And that was truly the day that I was like, damn. My universe exploded. Sup. I can get away with slacking off if I have my Pokemon out. <laughs> Show you how tightly I've bonded with my daughter. Okay, that was... I'm not that interested in that. Alright, ranchers Ava and Matt. Nothing like some southerners talking about how bonded with their daughters they have. <laughs> um, alright. We got a skunk and a kitty. Did you check your honey tree north of Orberg? I did check it on the map and it still says there's no fucking Pokemon on it. It has been t like 23 hours since I put that honey on that tree. There's no Pokemon on it. 
Ouch. Heal the Stunky. I should probably go back and heal. So, interesting double battle there. Corn Pops. I honestly kind of forgot about Corn Pops, not going to lie. Screech? No thanks. No Screech for me. All right, back to business. Um, there's more trainers over there, and there's an item over there. I should probably grab that. Oh, this breeder just spotted me. I'm a rookie breeder, but I'll do my best. <laughs> rookie breeder. Three Pokemon. All right, Amber, show us what you got. It's probably going to be... Oh, it's a Cleffa. You guys ever seen the image of the uncurled Cleffa? He is erect, and I love him. <laughs> His like little curl right there, it's like straight. <laughs> it looks awesome. Someone post uncurled Cleffa in chat. It must be shown the way. Reese's Puffs, peanut butter chocolate flavor. Bulldoze, yes, we definitely want that. Finally, a ground move. All right, Rookie Breeder was just what we expected. I go back and heal for safety. Jesus, I'm swerving out here on this thing. Good God, had a few beers, officer. Um, so up here we've got the, this is the Moo Moo Milk place, nice. I'm gonna definitely go uh, go check me out some milk. Get that, uh, them strong bones, hello? How you doing, what you having? Of course, all we ever have is Moo Moo Milk. Literally all we got is milk, 500 bucks a bottle, I'll take 10. I'm even gonna buy like, I should probably get a lot of milk. I mean, Moo Moo Milks are definitely just solid, uh, Solid heals. It's nice that you can just buy ten. I wish it could be a dozen though. All right, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get thirty Moo Moo milks, and that should probably hold me off for quite some time. Look at these these fine <laughs> cafe patrons enjoying their milk. I'm a collector and I'm proud of what I know about Pokemon. Would you like me to test your knowledge? I wish I could have said no because I actually do not want to battle you. I just wanted to see how your milk was, but. Collector Edwin, he has got three Pokemon. He's reaching into his bag. Oh, there's a Sudorito. All right, finally a guy that knows how to evolve his Bonsly. The cheerleader Pokemon, Sudorito. <laughs> um, level 19. I go into maybe Pops can handle this. Ever seen a tongue with a normal tongue? I have not. Also, it's very orange in this place as well. Stone Edge. Damn, this but Oh my god! It just destroyed. No! Corn Pops! Damn, man. Pops. Ri I did not expect that thing to bust out Stone Edge. What the hell was that? God damn. That boy came at me with some heat. That was upsetting. <laughs> Alright. He dead. Wow. Hello? I just lost my freaking Psyduck. To a crit. I'm upset. Minus another water type. Only my water types die in this game. What is? What did I ever do to water types for them to hate me like this? God. Just got absolutely destroyed. He's got another one. All right, well guess what? I hate all Sudowoodos now. You've lost my respect, you fake ass tree. Not even a real tree. I just... Not even a freaking real treat. Damn, he does have wood. He does have wood hammer too. I was imagining going. I was planning on maybe going into. Not MD. I was going into Reese's Puff, but. Stone Edge and wood hammer, crazy guy. For real, that Sudowoodo has a powerful move set. Good God, do not play with this guy. He's got three Sudowoodos that'll absolutely just eat your ass. Uh, Alright, well that takes care of it. I'm staying out of this milk cafe. These guys in here... These guys will kill you. I'm gonna take my milk and go. Jesus. Um, Corn Pops, see you later, buddy. You are now dead. Moment of silence for Corn Pops. You can chill here next to... Freaking Kicks. May they rest in peace. Who else we bringing? Um, I guess... Maybe I just grab... Uh, we'll grab Wheaties. Talking about double fighting types on the squad. What do we got over here? Here's the here's the Psyducks. They have a terrible headache, and these guys are real assholes because they don't let you pass. Standing firm, they aren't inclined to move at all. <laughs> Man, I could release my Psyduck to just come hang out with these guys, just be a roadblock with them. 
Um, so that's pretty much it for this route. Now we get to... I'm going to put some honey on... Wait, do I not have any? I have some honey, right? I'm going to slather the bark with honey here. Maybe we can get a honey mon at some point and get myself a hair cross. That would be sick. Um, but let's head into Route 215 where all of a sudden it's all stormy and freaking rainy. Which, you know, it's kind of nice. You get some weather out here. There's another honey tree. There's honey trees all over the damn place. So we can get a new Pokemon in this place. There's a trainer. We got all sorts of stuff to take care of here, boys. E10D's not... Ruin Maniac Calvin, he's got a little bit of stubble. He's out. He's been out in the wilderness here for a while. Uh, he's got a Bronzor, so good route to have a Bronzor because you know you can't really use your Fire types on it because it's raining. I mean, you can just reduce damage from Fire types because of the rain. But, but I got me some bite, so your plan has failed, Bronzor. All right, Coin Dead. Call that Reverse Inflation or something. I don't know. Anyway, what's next? Next is a Shields on. Hey, it's our first fossil Pokemon that we've seen. I don't mind the designs, like the art style of the remake. I think just it's just the character models that bother me. Using our new found ground move, that right there is a pulverized little guy. A little, little shield face home. Now we can actually get our encounter here, so I think... I don't remember what's over here, but let's just see. Hello? Ooh, it's a Kadabra. Damn. That is nice. Hell yeah. Okay. Nobody panic. We've got a Kadabra. That's actually sick. Um, level 20, so it's not often I get to catch Kadabras. Come on now. There it is. There it is. Easy. <laughs> All right. Kadabra caught. That is extremely nice. I love me some Kadabra. Nice. All right. This is the most fitting Pokemon we've had in this Nuzlocke. Because everybody else is cereal, and he's got the spoon. <laughs> it still fits with the cereal theme, but in a different way. Um, we're definitely going to add this to the party, because I love me some Kadabra. Now, let's get rid of Weedies, because we don't need another fighting type. Uh, you can you can keep your orange berry, little guy. Nice. Alright, so Kadabra. Great encounter here. Fantastic, even. I know that we probably want to level this thing as a Kadabra to get some level up moves before we end up evolving it, but... It's a bashful nature, um, you know, which is fine. Comes with inner focus. All right, protects the Pokemon from flinching. Nice. And this is just our, this is our little fella with a big old floofy tail. So at least it's not like a minus defense nature because Kadabra's already frail as hell anyway. All right, you know what, Kadabra? We're walking together. You're coming out right now. Oh, he floats. <laughs> of course he does. Oh yeah, we've got an ether. Nice, just right in the middle of the road. They really just be putting items just right in the middle of the path. What's up with that? Oh, I honestly, oh, he roared at me. I honestly, what? Didn't really mean, damn it! I didn't, I didn't mean to talk to you, sir. I want to talk to you. I slowed down and stopped at time, sir. I'm only human after all. Okay, cool. Thank you for that. Here we got a karate dude. We're gonna use our newfound psychic type to absolutely demolish this fella. No, oh, never mind. She just gives us some stuff. Sorry, I talked shit on you guys. I appreciate the TM66s. Uh, use it after the opponent, and the power gets doubled. Thank you. What else we got? So there is more karate dudes freaking everywhere. This is a great place to train Kadabra. Hello? Check the sharpness of my fighting type Pokemon's moves. The sharpness, huh? Oh, Kadabra and Alakazam have the same level up moves. Damn, I could just turn this thing into an Alakazam right away. Probably don't need to do that, really, but... Um, we'll, we'll leave it as a Kadabra just for a little while, so that, you know, we just keep that big old floofy tail he's got for a little while. Um, interesting moveset you've got. We'll give you a nice little side beam for some sweet, sweet death. Krogunk absolutely hates Psychic. Poison and Fighting type. Very nice. Spoon. Nice first battle there, Spoon. Um, what is it? So is, are these some, some neat bushes? Up, some neat berries over here? Do I want this? She's scared. Some block berries. Nice. Hold on, I missed this item over here, so I'm gonna have to go ahead and get that. And there's a guy in the way, but that's fine. I'm not too worried about overleveling anymore because we got Kadabra to work on, so yeah, that's fine. This is gonna be a, it's gonna be a useless item anyway. Okay, if I somehow Spoon dies, I'm gonna be so sad. Okay, let's hope that that's not the case. You about to uh, feel the wrath of? I love how this thing comes with Psycho Cut too, as if they're just trying to trick people into using physical moves with Kadabra. I see what you're doing there, Game Freak. 
I see what you did there. You did not fool me, though. Gurgle. Can I just gurgle at me? Hello? What is this item? It's a fist plate! Text engraved in the back of the obtained plate. Two beings of time and space set free from the original one. Nice. Okay. I'll take this. Continuing. There's a lot of cut trees on this area. That just is like a shortcut tree, I guess. <laughs> nice. Every drop of sweat I shed makes me that much stronger. Nice. Sweating in the rain. I love how right when we got to the Krogunk route, I just have the most OP Mon for it. It's amazing. Fat ass Kadabra. Look at that. Look at that absolute wagon that Kadabra is carrying around. My god. Down goes the Meditite. Kadabra is absolutely feasting at the moment. Feasting. Self destruct. Hey, thanks, but no thanks, buddy. You will not be blowing up on my watch. Alright, over here we've got, you know, you guessed it, just some more trees to cut down. And this item looks important. Hello? Ooh, it's Shockwave. Hey, that's actually great. I could probably teach that to Kadabra right now. Even though... Uh, I kind of should probably save it, but... It might be nice for Kadabra to have a little extra. I don't like how it doesn't say the names on the... You have to, like, look at the bottom. You know? Just taking a look at all my items here. I do have, uh, yeah, Shockwave. So, I'm, I am going to teach this to Kadabra right now. Um, just because I would like a little more coverage on the guy. Why not, you know? Don't need Ally Switch. It's hilarious it comes with Ally Switch. Uh, there's another trainer right here. I will... Oh, I, wait. No, you're just, a, you're just a runner dude that... These joggers never want to battle me. Do I smell of something? Alright, so I think that's pretty much the end of this route, except there's another ball. We'll take a free full heal. And then, I believe... Kadabra, listen, could you get out of the way, friend? It really is a little bit annoying. Alright, so this is a double battle that I didn't even realize because the person on the bottom's hair was perfectly freaking camouflaged. So, hopefully this goes okay. Ace, Trainer, Dennis, and, and Maya. Oh god, Monferno and Aglamio. Okay. Um, we should be alright here, I think, right? I'm kind of afraid of using Kadabra just because <laughs> I'm, you know... Pretty frail. Maybe I switch this thing out on a double battle. Honestly, that's probably a good idea. I'm gonna go into Reese's Puff. And then we can have this thing. Force palm that there. Glam meow. Pet the kitty extremely roughly. Sometimes you gotta pet against the grain on the kitty. Oh! Damn, it's got aerial ace! Oh god! On front of the flame wheel, okay. Luckily, it's also raining, but... There we go. Pet the kitty, and he did. Spoon to 22. Michelle, I believe I saw your comment. Thank you very much. Ooh, they got a cadaver, too. Alright, alright. We're going to bulldoze the Mon Fern. Oh, bulldoze goes on everybody. Never mind. False alarm. Love the hate and live, live stream when, when I'm procrastinating uni work. <laughs> that is what I'm here for, my friend. Clutch detect like I'm in a VGC battle at the moment. Oh, yeah. Look at that detect. OP. Opens up the... Oh, wait. That was not a good detect. I, I forgot to click bulldoze. Should I try for the double detect? We can do it next turn. That was not a clutch detect because I forgot to click freaking bulldoze. Oh no. He bent the spoon, which somehow drops my accuracy. Oh, my friend with the taunt. He says, no more detecting for you, good sir. Sick and tired of that nonsense. I just killed my friend though. He's actually kind of... Ace trainers are scary. These guys know what they're doing. I mean, not really, but they at least have some powerful mods. I haven't seen a Monferno in the wild yet. And by wild, I mean just like out in the freaking field. Oh my god, they have a Gyarados too? What is this battle? <laughs> Alright, um, this is a little frightening. Hmm. Damn, bro. They're really testing me here. Okay, uh, Kadabra's nearly dead. This Gyarados is about to body this Geodude. <laughs> I'm in pretty bad shape here. I need to go into Raisin Brand for sure. And then I'm just gonna use Detect here on Special KD to free turn. 
I'm just gonna see if they attack this thing. Oh, never mind. I'm taunted. They got the fuck. They got me, bro. They got me. I guess we go into Applejack. This will be fun. Hopefully, Kadabra uses Psychic Move on Stunky. I think we're all right. I probably should have just battled these people individually. Would have had a way nicer, more pleasant time. But what would be the fun in that? Also, I don't think Gyarados could have any good water moves. Ice Fang? Damn. You trying to bust out some coverage on me? All right. Um, let's just struggle bug that thing. Both of them. And we shall vanish off the Gyarados. First Gyarados we've seen. We've only... Never mind, I was going to say... Oh! Okay, we live in. Hopefully the Gyarados doesn't target Raisin Bran or we might have a death on our hands, boys. Uh-oh. I did no damage. At least Kadabra's dead. Uh, Raisin Bran may be in danger here. We dropped a special attack. So if it uses, like... It doesn't have any physical water moves. What do we got here? Ooh, some level ups. Nice. Everybody looking good. I honestly was not ready to actually have a tough battle. Oh, it does have Waterfall. Oh my god, it just destroyed Applejack. <laughs> no. The Gyarados came with Waterfall? <laughs> what the hell, man? I did not think that that... That Gyarados was a Magikarp like 30 minutes ago. I mean, it already has Waterfall? I'm sick. What the fuck? It has Waterfall and Ice Fang. That is a competitive, viable Gyarados already. Dude. Hello? I need to... <gasps> oh my god. Um, I switch into Ghastly. Gyarados gets Waterfall at 21 and Crunch at 24 or 25. That's it! I'm using my Magikarp soon. I have Shockwave, um, luckily. I'm upset. I've had two deaths already. What is this? Oh no, it's gonna like crunch ghastly. <laughs> It'll just die to the shockwave. We're good. No, it didn't kill it! <laughs> no, no, no. Oh my god. No, Spoon's dead. No! How did the shockwave not kill it? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? The shockwave really didn't kill it? Are you kidding me? Everything is dying. What is going on? Waterfall in the rain is too powerful. I should have known that something was... <sighs> the shockwave was... Hello? Kadabra, what the fuck? I mean, you were lower level, but dude. Okay, special K out speeds and kills it, so... <laughs> I'm actually upset that, that that shockwave didn't kill it. I just used that TM on the guy, and he's dead on his first battle using it. What the hell, man? I literally just got that Kadabra. You made me lose my confidence. You made me lose my Skun Tank and my Kadabra. I was really proud of that Kadabra. Man. Hey, at least there's something nice happening. The freaking Geodude, though. Dude. I actually really like those two Pokemon, both <laughs> Kadabra and the Skun- the Stunky, those are my favorites. I should have definitely avoided that double battle, and I immediately regret not doing so. Alright, well we have Bigger Rock now, that's cool. Make their home on sheer cliff faces that have numerous, numerous holes in them. And look at my squad. What has happened to my lads? Alright, well, death box time. Man, we really have had an easy time up until those freaking ace trainers. Spoon, already dead. Uh, that's very upsetting. Applejack, already dead as well. He was young. He, they were too young. Man. I should have evolved that thing when I had the chance. If it was an Alakazam, that would have killed. Alright, well. <laughs> hmm. Looks like I'm bringing back these fellas. And just like that, my team is back to, like, pretty much how it was, I guess. Man, what's up, guy? Want to go to Celestic Town, but there are some Pokemon on the way. Yep, <laughs> me too, friend. Me too. 
All right, we've, we make it to Veilstone City, but at what cost? At what cost? So let's do some exploring. We've got over here, we've got some, some galactic nerds. Hey, you. Yeah, you. This is Team Galactic's warehouse. There ain't no playground for kids. Ain't no playground. I wanted to play. Um, I can't... Boy, uh, the one thing I'm super excited about getting to this city is that we can finally, finally go gamble. Boy, have I just been so excited to gamble. Like, ever since I started this playthrough, I've been like, man, I, all I want to do in this game is gamble. Damn it, I accidentally went in the wrong house. Um... God, the, the gambling in Pokemon is just my favorite thing. So let's go do that. What is this? Just kidding. I knew I knew that they replaced the game corner with the freaking clothing shop. <laughs> Holy shit, it's free. The music is epic in here. All right, so it's finally time to get some drip. I'd like to shop. Oh, dude, Pikachu style hoodie. I like it. Overall style? No, I don't know about that. Eevee jacket style? Kind of fresh. Oh, wait. Oh, I don't got enough money for any of this shit. Look at how expensive all this is. All I can afford is the Pikachu hoodie. And, you know, the overalls, but... <laughs> I'm just kidding. I can get some other stuff. Eh, that looks lame. Casual style? What? Casual style if I was like a painter slash avid backpacker. Um, damn, you're really flexing if you got the leather jacket. Do I spend all my money on the cyber style? I don't know about that. I think I'm just going Pikachu hoodie and calling it a day. <laughs> Would you like to put it on at once? At once! Damn it. Alright. Um, should definitely save for some good TMs. Nice. I don't have my hat on now, and it seems actually kind of better. I don't know if I even like the hat that the guy usually has. I'm so shocked the t-shirts with the Clefairy pattern are sold out. <laughs> Welcome. At Metro Metronome Style Shop, you can choose a new outfit to uh, achieve your perfect look. Is that was that all I could do? I want to like get like a new hat or like some new shoes or something. Not sure what to buy. Well, I'm just gonna take my Pikachu hoodie and be on my way, and <laughs> let's explore some more in the city. Still, actually, kind of pissed that they took away the game corner. Um, what th then? What is this place? There's just a bunch of boxes in here. Hello. This box goes there. That box goes. Okay. We're so busy. I wish Clefairy could work its magic and help us out. <laughs> nice. They really just didn't know what to do with this place. So they're just like, I don't know, but there's boxes in there or something. Okay, so it's a beautiful, yeah, beautiful, beautiful day out here in Veilstone. I bought a new parasol. Didn't want to get it rained on, so I watched the TV weather reports. That's the whole point of getting it. A parasol is actually like a sun, a sun one, right? A umbrella is the. Never mind. I came to the city just so I could go shopping at the department store. With all these rock walls around, the place feels kind of cold. <laughs> Kind of cold, okay. Um, so let's take a look at the old department store. Now I've heard good things about this department store. What you got? Nice, we can get like some big boy potions. I don't have you know, too much money at the moment. Don't really need those. What do you got? Ooh, we can finally get better Pokeballs for the love of God. I'm gonna get some Ultra Balls though because I only, I only mess with that luxury shit. I can't afford very many. I'm getting like five. <laughs> I should probably hold off on the TMs for now. I'm, I'm save my monies for the TMs. All right, what do you got? Hello? You got, I think the TMs are right down below. Oh, these are the TMs. All right, so we got Low Sweep, Bulldoze, U-Turn, False Swipe, Rest, Protect, Safeguard, Reflect, Light Screen, Substitute, Endure, Work Up, Swords Dance, damn, Double Team, Flash. Hmm. Do you have TMs down here as well? So since they made TMs single use only, they apparently give you the ability to just buy easy, good ones. So we got Fire Blast here, Thunder, Blizzard, Focus Blast, Flamethrower, Pog. Only for $3,000 you get Flamethrower and Thunderbolts. Ice Beam, Solar Beam, Psychic, Dazzling Gleam. Cry, dude, my Kadabra would have been so OP right now. I'm actually upset. <laughs> I'll take Dazzling Gleam. These are some super sweet moves. I'll take a motherfucking, I'll take a Psychic for sure. Um, R.I.P. Kadabra. I'll get Ice Beam. Dude, 3,000 for all these? That is a screaming deal. Thunderbolt, I'll take one of them. Um, Flamethrow him, I'll take that. Monferno's gonna enjoy that. Psychic might not be bad on Booberry as well. Ice Beam, nobody can learn currently. Um, 
freaking Thunderbolt. Only Boo Berry can learn that. Oh, wait. Lucky Charms. Lucky Charms! I almost forgot about you, brother. Here's your here's your Thunderbolt, buddy. Finally. A good electric move. This would have been nice for that Gyarados. We'll just get rid of Spark. I mean... Thundershock. Doesn't really matter. We're just gonna Thunderbolt freaking everything now. Um, nice. And then the last was... Freaking flamethrower. Very handsome today. Hey, verse. Thank you. you know you're looking handsome. Thank you. Pebbles is about to be super overpowered with freaking flamethrower. You, can, I don't think you could even get flamethrower at this point in the game. Last in the originals, could you? We get rid of Ember. Turn that Ember into a flamethrower. Call that an upgrade. Boom. I, pretty, I feel like that's pretty much all we need from the department store. But we'll check out what the rest of it got. I guess yeah. Thunderbolt Gengar too. I'm, I'm gonna grab another Thunderbolt. Why not? All right, Boo Berry. You are now going to be able to power, summon the power of Thor. Dat coverage, we'll get rid of a uh, mean look, how about that? Now he looks nice, not mean. Right, what are these dudes doing, hello? Two buff dudes standing next to each other? Two buff guys standing side by side, that's all. I remember your voice lines, or your... <laughs> I remember you, what you guys say, young Pokemon trainer. Uh, as you've seen, you're in life. Let me make a gift of the sticky barb. I already have a poison barb. And now I have a sticky barb. I got hella Barbaras. Nice. <laughs> what do we have in here? Hello? A myth says that Mount Cornet parted Sinnoh into halves. Seeing the Pokemon Shellos makes me think that maybe the myth is real. If there are Pokemon who desire to see them. Pokemon will appear in many different guises. Cool. Thanks for not giving me any information. Ooh, look at this. Mysterious meteorite that fell from the stars. Interesting. This guy just chilling here with his giraffe rig or woman. I don't know who you are. Swings his pendulum at the same interval. How beautiful. I'll give you this to you. Hey, they give us a metronome. Nice. Not usually a useful item, but that's cool. Went out wearing Hayden's ball and hoodie the other day, and I have six girlfriends now. <laughs> that could be you. Up over this way, we've got the Veilstone building. We dream of the universe. Interesting. I think there's actually a hidden item. Yeah, there is. Take a bottle of PP up. Nice little bottle of Viagra, we'll be taking that. So the gym is just over this way. We haven't gone, we haven't not gone over this way. Um, is this the one pedestal that there's not a hidden item on that annoys me? Do I maybe have to use the dowsing machine or something? Which one is it? This? I don't even remember how this works. Um, hello, Don, what it do? You know what's weird? Something about this game is a very little thing that I noticed. Is that, you know, you can, your character obviously, you can walk freely whichever way you want, but NPCs walk in like straight lines. Like she walks, she goes straight and then like, they walk so square that it looks so unnatural and dumb. Like, if I can walk normally, why, why can't you? I don't know. You keep getting tougher and tougher, don't you? Well, I went shopping the department store. I mean, well, of course I've been working on my Pokedex, but uh, I'll catch you later. She's like, I'm mostly just shopping. See, doesn't that look so clunky? That, like, why couldn't she have just been like, yeet, yeet, and just did like a, you know, she could have hit me with a 360 or something before. Um, but here is the gym. Now, level cap for this is level 30. Um, the current team needs a little bit of love before we do that. Gotta deal with some fighting types. I think that I'll teach Psychic to Booberry for sure. I'll, maybe we just grind up Booberry. Um, Special K is gonna be nice for us as well. <sighs> Nothing like losing Kadabra right before the fighting gym, huh, boys? <laughs> I'm gonna grind up this squad, or at least, not the squad, but at least Ghastly, and then we'll be back. Ghastly is gonna grow some arms. I, I do like the evolution um, animation in this. It's actually kind of nice. And that right there is a Haunter. All right, so we ground up Haunter. We now turned him into a Gengar through trading, and here's to hoping that... Booberry does not catch a knockoff or a payback or something in the gym because this thing could be pretty useful for us. All right, Reese's Puff is also now a, a, a golem. Thank you kindly to Chicka Chow for the trades. It sheds its hide once a year. Its boulder-like body is so tough, even dynamite can't har harm it. <laughs> nice, he's strong. All right, well, let's take our newfound fellas into the gym and let's get it going. We gotta move the punching bags around and stuff, huh? Oh wait, no, it's different. I'm thinking of the platinum one. Wow. Completely different. So there's a 
three people right there. Four, so yeah, four train. I don't even remember. I don't even remember this at all. We still gotta mess with the the tires. Was this what it was like in Diamond and Pearl? I swear to God, I haven't played Diamond and Pearl in absolutely forever. So I don't even. It's only platinum. So the things that are different, I, I feel like, are new. <laughs> All right, karate guy number one, Raphael. What you got? Um, Meditite. Kind of scary for Gengar here. Intimidate. He lives. The onion boy lives. Oh god. I jump kick. He living. All right, we're good. It's weird being lower level than these guys. It's quite an unfamiliar feeling. So we can push that thing there, and then we can go over here and just and then. Push that there, and then I can go through here. All right, wait, no, I can't. I, that false alarm, I actually, in fact, cannot do that. Where are the karate quads? I will strike a blow of tears with my fist. Hayat tears! What was that? Down goes the metatite. All right, see, I'm gonna need my team to be pretty high for this in the next, like I might need to use a B squad to not over level my current team past 30 for the next gym battle because it's the same level cap which is scary stuff but I think we'll manage I think we'll manage we're the karate quads I will strike a blow for love with my fist all right this guy's trying to strike a blow on me I don't know I might need an adult stop looking for a while now appreciate you guys thank you black belt Colby caught these wings okay, I'll play both of those hello all right, so I think, is this the last guy? I will strike a blow for courage with my fist. Why are you guys always trying to strike blows out here, man? But now since I pushed that, I can be like, hello. Wait, no, I can't, just kidding. True, true. Okay, that brings us through. And then, uh, nice. So we got that middle one set up. Now we just need to do one more on the other side. And then we should be good to go, I think. Ah. Um, but how... How do I get through? I need to... I need to push this one through? Wait. Yes. And then now that allows me to go over here. And then I push that over there. And then I go back over this way. I am a god. Absolute legend at puzzles. <laughs> so level cap is at 30. I think we're okay with what we've got here, boys. Um, I think we just go for it. It's time. I, I remember this battle being a little bit scary, but I think that we will be all right. Highest is 31, by the way. Ooh, highest is 31. Check this out. What I'm going to do is, and hear me out on this. Um, what, there it is. I was say, where's that one rare candy? I'm giving one rare candy to Gengar. <laughs> nice. All right. It's time. She's got pink hair, a little, little spiky. She got some wings. Nice. Oh, yeah, that's a good scene right there. Ooh. Epic. She got a little band-aid on her non-existent nose. Hello, I'm pleased to meet you. I'm Maylene. I'm the gym leader. Don't really know what it means to be strong or how I got to be the gym leader. How did you get this job? <laughs> but I'll do the best I can as a gym leader and take I take battling very seriously whenever you're ready. Let's do it. We're leading Gengar and um Let's get this money. So she has three Pokemon. Not too bad. Leads Metatite. Now I've been led to believe I think this Metatite doesn't have anything for Gengar. So what we might do is go for a nice little nasty plot, get Gengar to think some nasty thoughts, and then I think we might be all right here. Oh, Switch is out. What? Immediately switches into Machoke. Interesting. Uh, okay. I've, I've, I've not seen that before. Did they make the AI smarter in this game? What was that? Very cool. Well, um, so now we're at plus two, and I have Psychic here. Now, level 27 Machoke. I'm pretty sure we're just good to just click Psychic here. Um, psychic psychic still probably kills this fella here, so we're just going to go for that. I was kind of hoping 
that you wouldn't switch right away, but let's just give you the little psychic and yeah, that that is that right there is a dead man in a speedo. Amazing. <laughs> so it's a good thing we got good thing we got Gengar before this. Metatite comes back out, so I bet you I bet you feel real dumb now, Maylene, don't you? Don't you? <laughs> um so yeah, Gengar does not have Levitate anymore. Can you believe that they did my dude like that? Cursed body now. But like, why why would they do that? We still outspeed the Lucario. I might even just use... I don't want to risk losing Gengar because I love Gengar so much. I could just go for another nasty plot here and basically just guarantee that the uh, Lucario dies. But Lucario would be, would be 31. Um, it wouldn't be faster than Gengar, I don't think. I'm gonna just plot again. I think we're using I think we're letting Gengar do this. Make it nasty. Oh, Zed's up the light screen though. Okay, that's actually gonna be That's actually gonna put a hole in my plan a little bit. But that's okay. Um, we've already taken care of the Machoke and stuff, so that's pretty good. We're just gonna go for a nice little hex here. You don't have a status condition, but that's still alright. We got two nasty plots, so see ya. And now in comes Lucario. Lucario is actually a little bit of an issue. Um, plus, mostly because I'm not freaking levitating. They, they really nerfed the hell out of Gengar. Like, what the hell? So, here's Lucario. Level, it's actually just level 30. Um, and there's a light screen up. Ordinarily, I think I would just stay in. But, what moves does this Lucario have? I feel like Mega Lucario watch. I feel like I should just go into... Probably Captain Crunch. This thing's probably going to go for the Bone Rush here. Because of neutral flying moves. Drain Punch, Bone Rush, Screech, I think. Let's go into let's go into Star Avia. We're going to scare it with this bird. Because this is the scariest bird in town. We have Intimidate for some reason. It's got to be the wings. Uh, let's hope it I mean, I'm sure it goes... No Bone Rush? Does this thing not have Bone Rush? It screeched. It just screeched. It only had Metal Claw to hit Gengar with? Well, damn it. I should <laughs> should have just stayed in. Well, now I can just sw actually just switch into Luxio. Um, as it's going to Metal Claw here, probably. I don't know. And get another Intimidate. So it's double Intimidated at this point. So I think we're still okay. It does just go for a Drain Punch, actually. Oh, blow it. Okay. That does a lot. Um, shoot. <laughs> well. The light screen is still up, so my Thunderbolt would not really be worth it. Man, I should have stayed in on Gengar. You mean to tell me that this thing didn't even have Bone Rush? Why did I... Why You guys lied to me. Chat. Chat lied to me. Metal Claw, Drain Punch, Screech, and Bulk Up? Oh god, we don't want it to Bulk Up. I could just go right back into Gengar here. Or I go back into Staravia and get another Intimidate, and then maybe go on... We're, we're, we're switching around here. Going back... Back in the... Back into the bird. So, more Intimidate. Very nice. Hopefully this thing doesn't start setting up. Apparently in Platinum it has it. Oh, it does go for the bulk up. Uh-oh. Okay. So, it's still in the negative here. That's fine. Let's start getting some damage off on this pal, shall we? A little Airy Lace for that ass. Rain Punch goes first before my Aerial Ace, which is perfect. And now, I think I can actually get the Aerial Ace off here. That does nothing. Maybe potentially switch into the Gengar now, as it goes for the Drain Punch again. Hopefully it goes for the Drain Punch again. It pro it should, right? Back into Boo Berry. This Lucario is scary. I should have stayed in when I had these damn nasty plots. Man. Does Drain Punch. Perfect. There you go, Boo Berry. Um, and now, only thing, I, I'm, I'm mostly alright just because we have the Intimidates. This thing can't kill Gengar, right? Two Psychics should do the job. Let's see what happens. Oh, the light, the light screen is still up, isn't it? Oh god, it bulk upped again. Oh Jesus, man. After an after it's minus one attack, I feel like Gengar is okay, but I, don't, I still don't feel comfortable getting neutral against it, so. Um, hopefully then it does go up for Drain Punch against the Luxio. So there's the Metal Claw. Luxio says, that's fine. Eat that shit up. 
Now it probably goes for the drain punch, so maybe. I go into Booberry. Yeah, actually, Monferno probably could have just came in on the resist there and then killed it. I want Gengar to do it. <laughs> it's at minus one. What if he goes for the bulk up here, though? That's actually going to be annoying. I think it sees the kill. It probably wants to attack. It does Drain Punch. Okay. Yes, Booberry. You've done it, brother. So, minus one, we should be able to live in attack as long as no crit. I'm going for the Psychic Brahma Bold Gengar. It's a bold move for a bold Gengar. Maybe this just crits and kills. Or just kills. It just killed it all. I actually didn't even examine that light screen, the damage before the light screen, so that was a <laughs> that was scarier than it needed to be. Booberry, Booberry handled it. Nobody worry. <laughs> nobody, nobody panic. It's okay. All right, torment. Hey, no thanks. And we've done it without a death. Overthinking. I just didn't want to lose Gengar. It's just one of those Pokemon that I already lost my freaking. Potential Alakazam, okay? You win. That was a tough loss. Learned a lot from it. Please accept this gym badge. Yeah! Alright. Three gym badges, boys. And the good part is the next gym badge is basically the next thing we do. Um, so we're going to be halfway through the freaking badge case. I should explain about that badge. If you have the official Pokemon League badge, you can use the hit and move fly from your Poke Edge. Oh, and take these as well. You obtain the stickers that Maylene uses. Nice. We got a good sticker collection. My sticks be on fleek. Each TM60 contains move Drain Punch. A solid move. Good for Monferno as well. Nice. Yeah, the first badge be looking kind of musty. I have to play Docked. So I can't freaking shine him, okay? Alright, so Don's immediately waiting here for us. Hello? Hi, Aiden, please. Can you help me? I dropped my Pokedex by accident. Team Galactic took it. Now they won't give it back. Really need your help? I'll be waiting in front of the warehouse. Please come. Oh, it's going down. So... We're probably going to need to assemble at least a little bit of a new squad for this because we can't level past 30 for the next gym. So, like, the team I currently have, you know, if they get any higher, we won't be able to battle in the next gym. So, I think we just assemble a B squad for that. Anyways, YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment if you could. It helps out the channel a lot. Um, and I appreciate you guys hanging out and watching. See you later.